Hello, thank you for bearing with me on this uh, roller coaster of a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, we're entering the last week, and while we still have a ways to go, I think we definitely can do it. It's it's definitely possible. So, um, hopefully, with your help uh, spreading the word, we can we can get the backers we need and the donations we need to make a great game. So I just wanted to take some time and answer uh, a common question, um, which is basically, what's next? After, as assuming we get the funding for Never Ending Nightmares, what do you want to do next? And, well, there's, there's an easy answer. I want to make more horror games. Um, I've been making games professionally for 10 years now and I finally feel like I have found a home in, in horror games. I feel like this is the, the genre, the type of game that's the best fit for me personally to work on. So I'm really excited by that. Uh, it's, it's great to feel like, hey, I found the, the, the right place for me to work. Um, and, and I, I'm loving making Never Ending Nightmares. Um, so I definitely want to make more horror games and, and I actually have sort of the next two game ideas planned uh, up here at least. Um, I don't, I don't want to really talk about them yet because I think to some extent you sort of have to let the idea simmer for a while and and uh, things take shape and it becomes uh, the, the ideas become better um, like Never Ending Nightmares actually draws on ideas I had uh, back in, in 2005 I was looking through my old documents and I found a a very detailed description of a nightmare I had that I thought was, you know, relevant for, for like a game design back in 2005. And uh, I, I normally don't remember my dreams very well, but for whatever reason I was able to capture a lot of details of, of this nightmare. And um, some of them are rather bizarre, like just complete non sequiturs. Uh, in terms of, of what was happening in the nightmare, but I think to some extent that's that's a, a part of dreams is that not everything fits together um, evenly. You know, ideas come from different places, and and that's something we really want to do in in Never Ending Nightmares. I don't think we want to potentially put in a bunch of things that don't don't really fit with our overarching themes and things like that, but. We definitely want to create a nightmarish uh, game with, with, you know, the feeling that, that anything can happen. So I definitely have up more ideas for horror games that I really want to make, um, but, you know, they, they need some time. Uh, and, and certainly I need to, well, first, you know, get the funding to, to make NeverEnding Nightmares possible and then actually make the game before I, I start worry about them. Well, before I can start worrying about the the next games, but I feel like if you're if you're backing Never Ending Nightmares, you're you're getting more than just one horror game. You're helping, uh, you know, set up a, a horror game studio because if you look at it, there really aren't that many game studios that are sort of dedicated to horror uh, these days. I mean. Um, Back in the day, you know, there was Team Silent, and uh, was that what they were called? Well, anyway, the Silent Hill team, and then, like, Monolith uh, made a lot of the U.S. Uh, horror games, the Fear, Condemned, Suffering, um, but now I don't think they're really doing much with horror, and, I mean, at least in the, you know, AAA space, no one's really doing much with horror, and it's more like, you know, Frictional is, is a... Uh, a horror studio and, and not much else, but that's that's what I would like Infinitap Games to be. I'd like to keep making interesting horror games and so hopefully, you know, tell your friends about the, the Never Ending Nightmares Kickstarter. I'm gonna keep trying to, to get press and buzz, but uh, I definitely need your help to, to reach out to your communities and, and uh, 
tell people that, hey, you know, there's an interesting Kickstarter project and, and we need your help. So thank you very much for backing and thank you for your time. And uh, I really look forward to making this game uh, with your help.